Hello there. So when I was a kid, my mum and dad didn't have much money. And I wondered this board came called Snakes and Ladders. And you wouldn't have to tell people what that was, but I think I have to assume people don't know now. So it's a board game. You've got this board and you've got these little counters and the dice. And you move these little things up the board. And you've got to go from one up to 100. And on the way, if you land on certain squares, you might get a snake that'll take you back. And you might land on the ladder that'll take you further towards your goal. Well, they couldn't afford that, so they bought this game called Snakes instead. You can imagine what it was like. There was just snakes, so you just kept in going back. Couldn't afford anything else. So that's my way of introducing what's been going on just really recently. Since the retreat yesterday, went down a big snake. Definitely did. Lost my connection with the universe, ultimately. I lost my sense of gratitude, appreciation, or wonder. And this is something that does happen to me after retreats. And it's because I'm so fully present and I'm giving and I'm giving and I'm giving and all the rest of it. And then suddenly, the day after, I can take a really big dip. And to be honest, it's all to do with the childhood programming. A lot of us were programmed into lack. That's the opposite of abundance when we were growing up. And so when certain things happen, that can trigger us back in that state. So you can tell things are pretty bad because it got to the point that first of all, I didn't do any meditation yesterday. That wasn't a good sign. But the real clincher, there I was quite late in the evening and I was on YouTube. And I was watching the government YouTube films. Can you imagine how... It's beyond sad, isn't it? It's the first time I've ever done it. Big slap on the wrist. Some person, not a dickhead, I never said that, just some person, you know, some jumped up, whatever, blathering away about this and that. And it was so boring. I thought, my God, how do people listen to this? But I thought I'd just wind on a little bit and see, is there anything of substance at all? And it was all about, you might have to wait in quarantine for two weeks if you arrive in England from some other country. I thought, Phew. Leave it out, mate, leave it out. And I realised any sense of things to do is to go to bed. So I had a whole day yesterday without doing any meditation, without tuning into the gratitude, the appreciation, the love, the joy. And every now and again, I find it's a handy thing to have because it really puts into perspective how far I've come. So this morning, woke up at six, got up about 6.15, I'll be honest, I felt like there's a lovely Scottish word. It's the most appropriate word. We don't have a word in English that really does it. It looks, it spells almost the same, but it doesn't have the sound. I felt like shite. That's how I felt this. I felt like absolute shite. And I thought, well, sod this. I'm not playing. I'm going to go back to bed. And I'll intend that when I wake up a bit later, I don't feel like this. And so I did went straight back to bed and I had this dream and it was one of those really healing dreams doesn't really matter what the details were it was about playing a game funnily enough <laughs> yes it was it was about playing a game and knowing the rules and suddenly grasping the rules where I hadn't probably been playing the game before right and I grasped it I went to this friend said, this is how it works these are how you add up the scores yeah 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 right I'm gonna do it and I did it and I woke up and that was it. Gratitude back on, appreciation back on, joy of life back on. So that's really my experience of life is like so many people, my childhood programming is, was the game of life was called this game called Snakes and you only ever go one way. And that's what I was programmed. And uh, it's shy. It's actually not like life really is. Life is snakes and ladders life is infinite possibility life's abundance and that includes all the best and all the worst and really my conclusion about this film is if i find myself going down the snake what i need to do is just to relax knowing that at the end of the journey i poop out of its other end and i can start going back on the longer journey and i can start to tune in to the gratitude the abundance the appreciation and of course, just look at this magnolia. Look at that magnolia. The beauty. 
the beauty. If you're around any nature, there's always the beauty to tune into it. It might be a patch of grass with dog shite on it, it'll still be nature. Whatever you can find. A tree, a bush, a leaf, a flower. So great gratitude. I'm back, thank you.